Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center and today we're looking at the Wii 908 Schism, a great new option for an EDC gentleman's knife. Let's check it out. For those of you who are familiar with Wii knives already, you won't be surprised to learn that the quality of the Schism can rival any production company out there. They've honed their skills for years as an OEM for other knife manufacturers and ever since they struck out on their own they've been hitting things out of the park. One of our first thoughts when we unwrapped this knife was that it reminded us of a slightly smaller and upgraded Kershaw Leak. It certainly has a similar refined and understated classiness that makes it a great option for a gentleman's pocket knife or fancier EDC knife. The blade is a textbook Warncliffe shape and it has a hollow grind with a long swedge. This is great for all the obstacles of modern life. It can pierce and cut aggressively. It's great for cutting down boxes, opening packages, blister packs, or envelopes, and it's especially useful for scoring or cutting through tough material on the draw stroke. It's comfortable to use too, thanks to chamfered edges and subtle jimping right here at the thumb. The steel used is S35VN for a premium cutting experience, and it's just under three inches long. It's a perfect length for getting enough work done without taking up too much room in your pockets. Although some might mistake the finish for a bead blasted look, it's actually much finer and nicer than that with each one of these blades being hand finished to a matte satin gray. The opening of the blade is achieved with these small dual thumb studs and they do the job quite easily. Pops open very quickly and that's thanks to a perfect detent, something that they always do very well, and caged bearings in the pivot. Something else that keeps the lines of the knife nice and clean are hidden stop pins on the blade, which you can see as the blade travels between the closed and open position. They nest into these nice pockets in the handle which keeps them from cluttering up the visual when you've deployed the knife. The handles feature full titanium construction, and like the blade itself, it's just the right length. It's enough for a three and a half finger grip in my hands, comfortable enough to put to heavy work, but agile enough for smaller and more delicate needs. It also has a bunch of nice little details that really elevate it. The pivot is adjustable on the back side, but the front actually features the Wii logo. That logo is nice and subtle. It doesn't beat you over the head with its branding, but it's a nice touch that lets the world know what you're carrying. Moving back, we have a diagonally machined groove that creates a faux bolstered appearance, and three conical machined holes with concentric ridges. We've got two different anodized colors here to choose from, both blue or bronze, and that matches the hardware, including the thumb stud and the backspacers. Speaking of backspacers, the lanyard hole at the end of the knife even goes through one of them meaning there's no chance of your lanyard accidentally making contact with the edge of your knife while it's closed. On the reverse side, there is that adjustable pivot as well as a tight frame lock. It does have the expected lock bar insert to ensure a long service life, as well as an internal over travel stop to prevent the bar from being bent out of shape from overzealous unlocking. A milled and ridged cutout on the lock bar makes the operation smooth for your thumb when you're disengaging the lock. And as a nice touch, the front scale features a cutout of the same shape for a well-balanced look. The back is also where we find the machined titanium pocket clip. It's set up for right side tip up carry only, and the retention is good without being too difficult to extract from your pocket. It's nice and centered on the frame, but the retention point doesn't rest on the lock bar itself. Therefore, it won't interfere with opening the blade if you happen to be gripping the clip while you're doing it. The 908 Schism is another solid entry from Wii Knives, and if you've been looking to upgrade your gentleman's knife, you should take a look, especially if you appreciate the everyday usability of a Warncliffe blade. To get your hands on one, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com.